ശ്രീമതി ആർ പത്മാവതി ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഇ സി ധനലക്ഷ്മി ശ്രീനിവാസൻ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി ചെന്നൈ ഷി പെർസ്യൂഡ് ഹർ ബാച്ചിലർ ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇൻ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് അറ്റ് ദ നാഷണൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജ് കോവിൽപട്ടി ഷി ദെൻ വെന്റ് ഓൺ ടു വർക്ക് ആസ് എ ടെക്നിക്കൽ എഡിറ്റർ ഇൻ ഡോമിക്സ് ടെക്നിക്കൽ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് ചെന്നൈ ഷി ദെൻ പെർസ്യൂഡ് ഹർ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇൻ അപ്ലൈഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് അറ്റ് സത്യഭാമ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ചെന്നൈ ഷി ഇസ് കറന്റ്ലി പെർസ്യൂയിങ് ഹർ പി എച്ച് ഡി ഇൻ അന യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ചെന്നൈ ഷി ഇസ് പബ്ലിഷ് സെവറൽ നാഷണൽ ആൻഡ് ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ജേണൽസ് and has attended many conferences her areas of interest include linear integrated circuits digital electronics electronic circuits vlsi design welcome to ugc lecture series bsc electronics harness for analog electronics today we are going to discuss about zener diode operation and vi characteristics of zener diode zener diode as voltage regulator zener diode These diodes are normal p-n junction diodes operating in reverse bias to condition. Working of the Zener diode is similar to p-n junction diode in forward bias to condition. But the uniqueness lies in the fact that it can also conduct when it is connected in reverse bias above its threshold or breakdown voltage. This is the picture shows the unbiased semiconductor diode where the speed type mater- semiconducting material doped with trivalent impurity so it has majority carriers as holes n type material semiconducting material doped with pentavalent impurity having majority carriers as electrons when these two p p semiconductor material and n type semiconducting material formed uh, as a junction on the silicon wafer the holes from p side diffuse to the n side region and electrons from n side diffuse to the p side region finally the immobile charge charges are accumulated around the junction so the, uh, due to these uh, charges we we got the depletion layer near the junction and with these charges the electric field is also generated so when the forward bias is given to the pn junction the width of this depletion layer will be reduced when the input voltage is increased and if it is zero then the diode will start conduct and similarly for the zener diode also so Z, as we see the zener uh, zener diode works similar to the pn junction diode in forward biased region but what happens in the reverse biased region when we give reverse bias to the pn junction this the width of the depletion layer will increase and so this electric field is also increased the electric field is from positive to negative or from n to p this creates the reverse current during the reverse bias condition of pn junction that is the minority carrier charges will will create the reverse current in pn junction diode whereas what happen in the zener diode in the reverse bias condition so in the zener diode this is the vi characteristics of zener diode during the forward bias the similar characteristics obtained in the zener diode also as well as in the pn junction zener diode also has the similar characteristics but in the reverse bias condition once the zener voltage is reached when you increase the voltage beyond this zener voltage the current is maximum here the maximum current will flow through the zener diode this is because the electric field this electric field is increased and and so the the strength of this electric field is high enough to exert a force on the free electrons in the atom and so the valence electrons will get separated from the nuclei and the movement of charge carriers is more and more when you give voltage in the reverse bias condition so if the reverse bias is increased more electrons and holes will separated from this nuclei and so more mobile charges are generated and so the flow of collector, elect, flow of current is maximum in the reverse bias region this is what happening in the zener diode but whereas in the case of pn junction diode 
once this breakdown voltage or threshold voltage is reached if the input voltage is increased beyond the threshold voltage then the diode will get damaged. So, Zener breakdown this breakdown occurs for a reverse bias voltage between 2 to 8 volts even at this low voltage the electric field intensity is strong enough to exert a force on the valence electrons of the atom such that they are separated from the nuclei. This results in formation of mobile electron hole pairs increasing the flow of current across the device. This type of breakdown occurs normally for highly doped diode with low breakdown voltage and larger electric field. It has negative temperature coefficient. As temperature increases, the valence electrons gain more energy to disrupt from the covalent bond and less amount of external voltages required. The Zener breakdown voltage decreases with temperature. So, this is more important. This breakdown occurs for the reverse bias voltage between 2 to 8 volts. So, in avalanche breakdown, it is above 8 volts. This breakdown occurs at the reverse bias voltage above 8 volt and higher. It occurs for lightly doped diode with large breakdown voltage. In the case of Zener, it is heavily doped diode with lower breakdown voltage. As minority charge carriers flow across the device, they tend to collide with the electrons in the covalent bond and cause the covalent bond to disrupt. As voltage increases, the kinetic energy of the electrons also increases and the covalent bonds are more easily disrupted causing an increase in electron hole pairs. The avalanche breakdown voltage increases with temperature. So, this is positive, this has positive temperature coefficient whereas, the Zener diode has negative temperature coefficient. So, we have seen the Vi characteristics of Zener diode. In the forward biased condition, the current is maximum once the threshold voltage is reached after which if we apply input signal, input voltage, the current is maximum, it increases with the voltage. And in the reverse bias, in the reverse bias condition, once this Zener voltage is reached, uh, as we saw the, mob the mobility of the charge carriers is increased and so the current through the Zener diode is increased. This is the <coughs> difference between the Zener diode and the PN junction diode in the symbol. So, this is Zener diode and this one is the PN junction diode and also the current direction is represented here for both the diodes. So, here we know that this point the bar uh, the this S bar indicates the cathode and this arrow indicates the anode here. And in PN junction this arrow indicates the anode and bar indicates the cathode. So, why it is reversed the polarity if you see the current direction it is reversed compared to the PN junction. See here it is cathode this is anode the current direction is towards the cathode. Here it is anode and cathode the current direction is towards the anode. So, the reverse current here. So, the importance of the Zener diode lies in the reverse biased uh, condition of the diode. That is why the current is also reversed here and the cathode is given to the positive terminal of the external supply and anode is given to the negative terminal of the external supply. When you see it for the PN junction, it is positive terminal is given to the anode, negative terminal is given to the cathode. So, it is because of the importance of the Zener diode only in the reverse biased condition. So, what is the difference between these two diodes? So, Zener diode will conduct in also in the reverse biased region, but PN junction diode will not conduct, it will get damaged if the input voltage, if the external supply is above the breakdown voltage during the reverse bias condition. This is the major difference between these two diodes and the voltage when, when the voltage V z that is the Zener voltage is reached. If we increase the old external voltage beyond this volt V z the current is constant. The current is constant here, but it is increased the voltage is constant the current is increased here. 
So, this uh, particular point is said to be the zener voltage and it can be act, it can taken as a reference voltage for some circuits. Say uh, example uh, voltage regulator. So, this zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator also because of this constant Vz across the zener diode during the reverse bias condition. So, this is the equivalent circuit of the zener diode. This is the symbol of the zener diode. The exact model of the zener diode is it has a polarity uh, Vz voltage and it is it has a resist internal resistance Rz and uh, this is approximately we can take it as Vz only we have neglected this uh, the effect of Rz here and this is said to be the approximate model. Why it is so because if the exact model is replaced for the zener diode in any circuit the external resistances may be higher than this internal resistance of the zener diode. So, this effect is negligible and so we have neglected in the approximate model. So, from here whenever we see the circuit or if we analyze the circuit this approximate model is replaced for a zener diode In it has Vz as zener voltage it is a constant voltage across the zener diode. So, now we are going to see the zener diode as a voltage regulator or a zener regulator. So, before going to the circuit when we analyze the network first we have to determine the state of the diode whether the diode is in on condition on state or an off state and substitute the appropriate model. So, these are the models we have to substitute appropriately. So, if the zener diode is on then we know that it has Vz across it across the terminals. So, this is the substitution ex appropriate model for the zener diode to be replaced when the zener diode is in on state and if the zener diode is in off state we know that there is a open circuit off say off state in the sense the voltage across the two terminals is in between the zener voltage and 0 it is greater than 0 and lesser than the zener voltage if it is the case then the open circuit should be replaced for a zener diode. So, we have to find out the state of the diode whether the diode is in on state or off state if it is in on state then we have to replace a zener voltage instead of a zener diode if it is off state we have to replace a open circuit instead of a zener diode. On state in the sense the voltage the voltage across these, these two terminals must be greater than Vz. Off, off state represents the voltage across these two terminals is in between 0 to Vz, Vz is the zener voltage and after substituting the appropriate model determine the other unknown quantities in the network. This is the basic zener diode regulator determine the state of the zener diode by removing it from the network and calculate the voltage across the resulting open circuit. This is the first step we have to see in the analysis determine the state of the network. So, first you have to remove this diode and after rem removing it calculate the voltage across these two terminals. So, how will you calculate it by using the potential divider rule. So, here we are giving uh, external supply that is the signal V i and this is a resistance R through the resistance R the current flow is I R and this is uh, splitted here in these two terminals it is I Z and I L. Now, if it is open then I Z is 0 and here I L is flowing. So, if you want to calculate the voltage across these two terminals V is equal to and we know that the voltage across the parallel uh, arms are equal. So, V is equal to V L. So, V L is equal to V is equal to V L is equal to the resistance R L into the input voltage 
divided by the total voltage. This is the potential divider rule. So, where, uh, where we, we are we want the uh, voltage across the term across these resistance R L. So, R L into the applied voltage V i divided by the total resistance in the network in this path R plus R L. This is the potential divider rule. So, why it is V equal to V L? Because this voltage is equal to the voltage uh, uh, across these terminals. So, it is V equal to V L is equal to the resistance R L into V i divided by these total resistances. So, now this is the voltage V across these two terminals. So, what is the next step? We have to find out the value of this V we have to compare this V with the Zeno voltage V is at. If this voltage calculator that is across the terminals of uh, Zeno diode across these two terminals, if we take out, take, take out the Zeno diode from the circuit and if we calculate the voltage across the two terminals then it is V. So, if this V is greater than the Zeno voltage its equivalent model is substituted, its equivalent model is nothing but a battery that is it has Vz voltage. If V is less than Vz, its open circuit equivalence is substituted. So, now we consider that the calculated voltage is greater than the zero voltage. So, we can have the supply, uh, it, it is a voltage across the Zener diode V is it is not a supply it is a voltage across the Zener diode V is it. So, it is substituted because we have assumed that the calculated voltage is greater than the voltage V is it. So, what is next substitute the appropriate equivalent circuit and solve for the desired unknowns. So, we have to calculate what is the load voltage and what is the load current and the finally power dissipated by the Zener diode. So, load voltage V L across this load uh, resistance uh, R L, it is equal to the voltage V Z because these two are parallel. So, V Z is equal to V L and the from the Kirchhoff's current law, we can have this equation I R is equal to I Z plus I L. So, take this as a node we know that Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of the current flowing towards the node is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from the node. So, it is I r towards the node only one current is flowing towards the node I r and I z I l are the two currents flowing away from the node. So, I r is equal to I z plus I l and I z is equal to from this equation we can have I r minus I l and what is I l? It is from here V l by R l. I l is the current flowing through the load. So, V l by R l by Ohm's law and I r is we know that I r is this voltage divided by the resistance R. So, this vo the voltage across the resistance R is taken as V r, V r by R. What is V r? So, this is the current is flowing from this node to this node right. So, this is at this point the voltage is V i and at this point the voltage is V z or V l. So, V r is calculated as V i minus V l or V i minus V z. So, substituted instead of V r it is V i minus V l by r. So, we have calculated the load voltage, load current and Zener current and finally, the power dissipated by the Zener diode it is V z i z V into i. So, substitute the values we have calculated for this power dissipation. For the given network determine V L that is vo load voltage V R that is the voltage across this resistance I z that is the current flowing through the Zener diode and the power dissipation by the Zener diode that is P z. This is the first question and second one is repeat the same for the load resistance 3 kilo ohms. 
So, here the load resistance is given as 1.2 kilo ohms and if you replace the load resistance as 3 what will happen to all these values. So, you have to analyze the network now as in the case of previous network. So, what we have to do? We have to find out the state of the diode now and then we have to replace the diode by its equivalent depending upon the voltage and then finally calculate the load voltage, load current everything. So, if, uh, if we want to cal uh, find out the state of the diode, we have to calculate the voltage across the terminals of the diode when the diode is taken out. So, it is taken as V, we know the formula V is equal to R L into V i by R plus R L, this is according to the potential divider rule. So, when we want to calculate the voltage across V, it is R L, the, the voltage across these two terminals are one and the same, this voltage is equal to this voltage. So, you can take this as R L into V i divided by the total resistance. So, if you calculate it, it is uh, around 8.73 volts. So, it is given the Zener voltage is given here as 10 volts, V z is given as 10 volts. So, the calculated voltage is 8.73 volts. So, V is less than the Zener voltage and so the diode is in off state. If it is greater then it is in off on state. So, the if the diode is in off state we have to substitute the open circuit equivalent here. So, it must be open circuit and uh, if we calculate the voltage across the load, it is same as V. So, these two are parallel. So, V L is equal to V is equal to the calculated voltage 8.73 volts and what is the voltage across this resistance R? We know that this voltage V i minus this nodal voltage V that is V L divided by this R which gives you I R, but uh, if we calculate V R it is V I minus V L that is uh, that is calculated as 7.27 volts and why I is it is equal to 0 because this uh, the Zener diode is uh, substituted as a open circuit equivalent. So, there is no current here, so I is it is equal to 0 and power dissipation is also 0 if you substitute I is it here. So, now we have uh, calculated the lo load voltage and uh, the power dissipation uh, by the Zener diode for the load resistance 1.2 kilo ohms and now if the load resistance is taken as 3 kilo ohms the same voltage that is the voltage at this point at this point is calculated for the lo load voltage 3 as 12 volts. Since the voltage is 12 volt which is greater than the Zener voltage 10, so the diode is on. So, this is the first step, find out the state of the diode. Now, this voltage 12 volt is greater than 10, so the diode is on. So, if it is on, we have to replace the diode as V z, V z is 10 volts. Now, again calculate the all uh, load voltage, load current. So, load voltage we know that th since these two arms are parallel, so the voltages are also equal. So, it is 10 volts because V z is 10 volt, so the load voltage is also 10 volt and V r that is the voltage across this resistance 1 kilo ohms is cal calculated as V i minus V z or V l. So, V i is given as 16 volts minus V z or V l is uh, taken as 10 volts. So, the final voltage is V r is 6 volt and what is I l? The I, I l is the current flowing through the load. So, V l by R l, V l is 10 divided by R l it is uh, considered in, it is given as 3 kilo ohms. So, the volt the current 
flowing through the load is 3.33 milliamps. And what is the current flowing through this resistance R that is IR? VR we have calculated a VR divided by R it is given as 6 it is calculated as 6 milliamps and I is it the current flowing through the diode. It is from the Kirchhoff's current law we know that IR is equal to IZ plus IL from that equation IZ is IR minus IL. So, it is calculated as 2.67 milliamps. Previously it is 0 because uh, it is open circuit now it is 2.67 milliamps. So, this, uh, this is a simple uh, a network to be analyzed for a Zener diode as a voltage regulator. If the diode is on then it produces uh, the load voltage as Vz. Vz is the load voltage and this voltage is taken as the reference voltage in some circuits. So, for the same circuit you can change the input voltage and fix the load resistance as first case or you can fix the input voltage and change the load resistance as second case. So, for these two cases what will happen to the Zener diode we have to see. So, first fixed input voltage variable load resistance if we consider the input voltage as fixed and the load voltage is varied. So, if the load voltage is very low the voltage across the load is also very low. So, if this voltage is low then the diode diode voltage V is it if the load voltage is less than the diode voltage V is it the, di the diode is in uh, off state. So, determine the minimum load resistance above which we can have the value of the load resistance so that the diode will on. How will you determine the uh, minimum load resistance again by using the potential divider rule we know that V L otherwise V Z is equal to R L into V I divided by R L plus V I that the total resistance. So, from this you can calculate the minimum load resistance as R V Z by V I minus V Z. So, this is the minimum value of the load resistance above which we can set the load resistance so that the diode will be in on state. If it is if it is the if the voltage if the value of the resistance is below this minimum uh, value or until this minimum value then the diode will be in off state only. So, if we have to fix the value of the resistance above this value. So, if the resistance is minimum the current flow is maximum. So, if it is uh, if it is maximum then the if it is calculated as V L by R L and V L can be replaced as V Z by R L minimum. So, th this is the maximum current flow through the load. Once the diode is in on state the voltage across R remains fixed. So, V R is equal to V I minus V Z. We know that V R this is the V R voltage voltage across this resistance and that is equal to V I minus V Z. V I minus V Z. So, input is fixed now. So, here this V I is fixed now and I R remains fixed at I R is equal to V R by R. If the input is fixed and if the resistor value is fixed I R is also fixed. So, I R is determined as V R by R the Zener current I Z this is from the Kirchhoff's current law. So, I Z is equal to I R minus I L. So, from this equation if the load current is increased this is the uh, term which defines the which uh, determines the Zener current, current now. So, if the load current is increased if it is maximum then the Zener current is minimum because this IR is fixed. 
So, this is the fixed value from which the maximum value if it is subtracted then the final value the Zener current is reduced. If I L is minimum from the, min from the fixed value if a minimum current is subtracted then the Zener current is maximum. So, this uh, I L minimum is I R minus I Z minimum this is the ma minimum Zener current rating provided in the data sheet. So, I L minimum minimum current is calculated as I R minus I Z minimum and similarly R L maximum the maximum value of the load resistance can be calculated as V Z by I L minimum. Since I Z is limited to I Z minimum as provided on the data sheet it does affect the range of R L and therefore I L substituting I Z M that is the minimum Zener current provided in the data sheet for I Z establishes the minimum I L as I R minus I Z M. This is another circuit where determine the load resistance and load current that will result in output voltage being maintained at 10 volts. So, we have to maintain this output voltage as 10 volt for this circuit. So, determine the load resistance and the load current and maintain the output current as 10 volt. So, just now we have seen what is the minimum load resistance we have to have for the Zener diode to be on. So, according to the formula calculate the minimum load resistance as 250 ohms and maximum load resistance also we, we know the formula V z by I L minimum. So, through which the maximum load resistance is calculated as 1.25 kilo ohms. If we plot this, if we plot this, this is the minimum load resistance value, this is the maximum load resistance value and the Zener voltage is constantly plotted as 10 volts and all this is the load resistance versus load voltage plot and if we calculate the current I R it is 40 milliamps and I L minimum it is calculated as 8 milliamps. So, this is the minimum value this is the maximum value. So, when we plot the load current and the load voltage it is from 8 milliamps to 40 milliamps and constant 10 volt. So, we have seen Z, what is a Zener diode, how it is uh, working in the reverse biased region and what is the difference between the Zener diode and the PN junction diode and VI characteristics of Zener diode we have seen and uh, the approximate equivalent model and exact equivalent model of a Zener diode also we have seen. An application of a Zener diode as a voltage regulator we have analyzed the voltage regulator for various conditions questions which, which characteristics in a Zener diode is applicable to voltage regulator, give the differences between semiconductor diode and Zener diode, draw the VI characteristics of Zener diode, brief about Zener voltage regulator and these are the references. Thank you.